hi everybody uh, in this video we will continue with stack navigator in uh, react navigation as in this example we have multiple screen and we navigate between uh, screen using stack navigator uh, so firstly we uh, continue with a blind project uh, with uh, react native and uh, version e in here is 0 0.501 and uh, uh, firstly, we need to install React nav uh, Navigation package before starting uh, by uh, going to terminal and uh, install link uh, the package to the React Native project using uh, React Native install. And uh, after that, we have uh, uh, the package has been installed. In we also need uh, a package for button uh, React Native button and uh, we uh, create a new folder or new directory for storing uh, components so we have a, a component directory uh, so what about the package.json we have uh, the version here and uh, at this time we have this version for uh, react native and this version for react navigation uh, so you can check this uh, uh, this latest uh, version at this time and uh, uh, inside the component, I will create a new file. Uh, this file is a main component. So we have multiple com uh, component or screen. Uh, so uh, firstly, we have the first component or main screen. And uh, this is the user interface for the screen. We uh, will have the text, uh, the button to navigate, and the button to navigate to um, any screen and so we also have the second uh, screen is a, a detail component and this detail component will uh, uh, import some of the library and we have uh, the text like this uh, so this is detail screen is a, uh, this is a text uh, component for for this screen and uh, third we have a third component or the third screen uh, so uh, finally we have a three screen uh, master detail or main detail and uh, the third screen so inside the index.js we uh, can uh, replace the app object with the uh, 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 firstly, we import the main component uh, detail and third component into this uh, file. So uh, we create the app object depending on uh, the stack uh, navigator. We initialize a, a stack navigator and assign it uh, to the constant app and make this app object is a default uh, component or register component uh, for app registry so uh, we can use the string like this as a, a screen name or the screen name but uh, it is not convenient we will uh, define the screening names in a separate javascript file uh, so let's start by uh, creating new uh, javascript file uh, so we have this uh, uh, file for storing uh, screen name uh, so simply uh, screen name is uh, uh, are some strings so we have main string uh, and it, uh, it is a string with the same value and the detail screen uh, also have the uh, string like the name so we export all this value uh, so uh, 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 as a uh, JavaScript, I can use this. Uh, so inside the index.js, we uh, import the main screen, detail screen, uh, so three string uh, for name, import from uh, screen names. And uh, firstly, we have with the uh, first screen name, we uh, have the property of a screen. Uh, this is main component and the header and the header had title it is it is a title in uh, in the navigation bar uh, so here is the same as with uh, the the main screen we have the detail screen 
uh, with the header title is detail uh, like this uh, so we can do the same as with the uh, own three uh, components uh, so the third screen uh, third screen is a screen name and the navigation option we have the header title third and uh, what about the main component? Uh, inside the main component, we uh, add more button here. The button to navigate to the detail. Uh, detail from uh, the ma ma uh, master to the de detail. And uh, we name it navigate to detail. It's a title. And the on press. Uh, the on press even will. Uh, we can talk about uh, uh, here. By detail, we have a detail, we have a third uh, screen, we import the name here, and we will navigate to this by using props.navigate. Uh, and the navigate here is a function. Uh, this function will navigate from this screen to another screen. And uh, uh, for, for convenience, you, say you can extract uh, this uh, function from here by uh, I extract this using constant navigation uh, get from this dot property or this dot props and uh, two way are the same navigate you, you can use the object here or you can access directly from the props it is the same uh, two way are the same effects so the second here we have the uh, the second button it will navigate from the first to the third screen and uh, uh, from the first to the third screen it, it, is, very, uh, it is very convenient if you want to uh, come to uh, the another screen from here and uh, we import the button here use the button for the library and you uh, refresh or reload the, the application you have here you, we can navigate to yes so we have we can navigate from here to detail and back and navigate to the third screen and uh, another uh, problem here is that we want to transfer or uh, we want to translate uh, this parameter from here to here from this component to another component to uh, transfer the uh, parameter from uh, this component to another component or uh, you can use this uh, assume that we have a parameter is which is an object like here we have a name a star world we have uh, the property of release year so we want to uh, transfer from uh, a main to detail component how can we do this so inside this we can uh, so the value here uh, after transfer from uh, the the main view to this we can uh, console log uh, to display to the console to see the detail value so reload so yes okay so uh, after that uh, we press to navigate to detail you see that uh, the navigation va value here is a uh, state uh, param and uh, inside the param we can we have the property for uh, the value so uh, it is very easy to get using let uh, a param from main uh, screen here so like this we see uh, the output in console log to uh, get the state the params and you can display here inside text uh, element we, we can I import to here we can uh, get this to here by dot uh, name about uh, param from uh, from main screen dot name and dot release year yes so we have to validate it's quite simple but uh, we are also add a, um, a button here for to uh, navigate from uh, the the, the, the second uh, component to the third component so here it is navigate to third so how can do this we do the similarly to uh, from uh, mm, uh, master to detail 
so here reload we can click to to here navigate to main screen so we have the value has been displayed to here uh, it is a parameter from the main screen and this is a third screen and we can uh, navigate to third and go back and navigate okay uh, so this is the end of my lesson today uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye bye or uh, you can download github here